What's up guys, we are down here at the machine shop today. It's Tuesday, it is a cold day apparently. It's the first day of spring, but it's like 29 degrees outside. Not sure what happened. But today we're checking in with the guys. We're talking about uh, just how the Kickstarter is going. Uh, if you have not checked out the Lookout Kickstarter, it is live, so it'll be linked down in the description. Go check it out because uh, it is going really well. It got funded in like the first, I don't know, three minutes, something like that. Um, so yeah, today we're just kind of checking in with the guys, seeing how the progress on the Lookout is going for the US versions. Um, we're doing the three different handle materials, but the same blade on all of them, and they're all magnet cut, uh, stone washed finish. And yeah, just checking in with the guys and seeing where we're at. Go check out that Kickstarter. Jarvis! Oh, <laughs> so Jarvis was just explaining to me what all of this means, and I don't remember any of it. Yes, you do. There's like an X pattern and a Y pattern, and then there's like an I pattern and a J pattern, and then there's the F. The F. The F speed. For all you other non-machinists, X is this way. Go left to right. Left to right. Y is up and down. I and J will add a radial, a radial movement. So it'll add this kind of sweeping pattern here, uh, like the uh, uh, finger choil. And so that kind of makes it to where it doesn't just jump across and jag it. It kind of has that nice smooth. Pretty cool. And then the F is how fast it goes, right? The feed. The feed speed. Feeds and speeds. So feed. he's kind of monitoring this. this is, the, is this the first batch? Yes. So this is the first batch. He's got 20 in there right now. And so apparently, I'm learning this too, when you're doing your first batch of something, you kind of want to watch it. You want to babysit it a little bit, make sure everything's going well. There's no issues in the programming. All the passes are fine. And then you can crank it up to fast and hit fast and, and go. So we're only running 25% speed right now, right? Yeah, speed. That's what. That's apparently what this so knob rapid does. Moves. Rapid movements. So you run it slower. The first pass, so you can watch it, make sure it's running okay. And then once you kind of have done a test and you know everything's fine, you can ramp it up. Then you go hundo. All the way. I want to go the fast. Beans. I want to go fast. All the beans. I want to go fast. So, yeah, so he's got 20 of them in there. He said this will run, what you say, five hours? Oh, we got about an hour and a half left on that. An hour and a half left, okay. And what time did you start it? Let's see, uh, it's 11.15. Okay, so about three hours. Yeah. Well, for the jimping. That's, this is just jimping. Yeah, just jimping, yeah. Three hours for the jimping on 20 knives. In case you're wondering, if you don't know what jimping is, it's the ridges here on the top of the spine that give you your grip. So three hours to cut out 20 of those. It's not fast. No. P it's people fast. always wonder why stuff costs so much. It's because it takes three hours to cut it out. <laughs> and time is money, apparently. So. so let's talk about these. So these are the blanks. These are the Magna Cut blanks. We just got these in. This is a, a batch we're doing. Uh, we have 450 in this first batch. So, heads up. If you want to get in on the first batch, they are going quickly. We have, uh, I think there's about 100 or so left in this first batch. Once those are gone, we're actually going to open up another batch on Kickstarter for the second batch. So if you want to get in on the first batch, act quickly. So you probably, I, we hope they, that batch will be gone probably in the next, I don't know, week five, yeah five days to a week I would hope so um, yeah so if you want one of those and early bird ends on let's see end of day Friday so the early bird is the cheaper option it'll save you nine dollars the early birds the first week so end of day Friday midnight on Saturday morning is early bird early bird will end so if you want the first batch and the cheaper option of saving yourself nine bucks Go ahead and back that right now. It's in the description. Go grab it. So, so they come in. This is straight from Waterjet. Haven't done anything to it yet. So this one, tell me about this. So this one's been touched a little, right? Yeah, that was a trial and error. This was a trial run. Okay, so this is the first real batch. Yes. All right, so this one is just the first trial. Got a little bit of jimping in there, but this one's still going to come down a little bit in thickness, right? Or this uh, way. Okay, so this one's not quite there yet. It was a trial pass. We got to make sure we're right before we run a bunch of them. 
So, of course, big eye stickers everywhere. Look at this. I gotta say, that is a good looking tape measure if I do say so myself. Yep. So then, they'll kind of look like this, and then they go out to grinding where they're going to put in the bevel, put in the bevel, put in the initial bevel, heat treat them after the beveling, right? Then they come back in here, we stone wash them, sharpen, sharpen them, them, do kind of all the final touches. Then by that point, the hardware is already done, right? The hardware is already run. We have the hardware finished. It was made right there. I guess. Josh ran that on our Swiss lathe, the uh, uh, Citizen, the Citizen, and then they'll come in house, stone wash, add the edge. Uh, the handles will be probably be running once these go. Once we send these out to heat treat and grind, we'll start running handles back on the router, right? So that actually gets put on the router table. And then when they get back in here, we should be ready to roll, start assembling them. And the tiger wood, guys. I love the tiger wood. I think this is my favorite one. If I had to, if I had to pick a favorite child, it would be Jarvis. But then it would be the tiger wood. Then it would be the tiger wood. And but surprise, the best seller so far on banana the Kickstarter candy. is what you call it, banana, banana candy. The banana candy ultim. This is the not by a long shot, but this one is our is the top seller right now. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite of the three of the U.S. versions. So Black G10, Tiger Wood, or Ultim. I'm a big Tiger Wood fan. I love kind of classy, you know, timeless looking stuff. So um, that Tiger Wood is right up my alley. I'm going to have to steal myself one of those. So well, one thing, another thing we're working on today is we're grabbing all these with the calipers and just kind of checking our tolerances on our sheets. So making sure the sheath is right for all versions and everything is nice and sorted out before we send them out to you guys. End of the week, early bird is over, end of day Friday, so midnight on Saturday. Save yourself the nine bucks, go ahead and back the project now. And that first batch of US is going quickly. So if you wanna make sure uh, you get in that first batch, which will be delivered about probably month, month and a half earlier than the second batch. So we need to run the numbers on that and see where we're at. But more than likely, we're looking June delivery on the US version in the first batch and probably late July, early August, if I had to guess off the top of my head, don't hold me to that, uh, on the second batch. So save yourself some time, save yourself some money, go ahead and back it now. Dude, if that really is your sticky thing. Hey, smiling, look at Guys. That. <laughs> Look at him. He's my favorite son, other than Jarvis. Max, say hi. <laughs> Max, like I hate that stupid camera. Get it out of my shop. The people need to know. <laughs> Look, the whole crew's here today. Look. Look at us. Hey guys. Hey. Yeah. All right. What's your favorite handle material? Favorite handle material. Um. Well, you know, I'm a. I'm a man of the titanium, mm. but that tiger wood, tiger would, be, wood? would be my second favorite. So titanium number one, tiger wood number two. Yep. Same oh, question. Oh, you're asking me too? Same question. Uh, tiger wood at the moment. Oh. They look sick. It I want one. I don't see don't have one. I know. We're all going to steal one. So Mac needs to make 12 more. <laughs> 12 more. Yeah. And I'll hide one in the park. How's that sound? And then you guys can go find it. And hopefully a child won't find it because it's a knife. <laughs> Scratch the idea. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded good in the beginning. It did sound good it in, the, in good. my head. Since we're here, we're going to check in with Josh. I'm just curious what he's working on because I don't know. I should know these things. So I'm going to bust into his office with a camera. Well, what you normally do. What, uh, what projects are you working on, though, on the, uh, on the old lathe? On the Pocket Pro. The Pocket I'm Pro. Phosphorus Bronze. Phosphor Bronze. Phosphor Bronze Pocket Pro. That would be pretty cool. You guys excited about that? Phosphor bronze pins? A little different than our normal brass or copper, uh, but in that same kind of world, but we wanted to go something a little different. You guys know that Josh is the lathe whisperer. <laughs> I feel like you can't say the words lathe whisperer without sounding like you have a lisp. I feel like I'm Lathe more, whisperer. It just like puts you into that. Screaming at the lathe right screaming now. Screaming at the lathe. Whispering. <laughs> trying to, beating it into submission, if you will? Yes, trying to at least. All right, everybody say, tell Josh hi. Hi, guys. Say good luck. 
Yeah. Thank you. You're the best. It's a love-hate relationship with them and the camera. Well guys, that's all the update we got today. Like I said, go grab the Kickstarter. Early Birds ends at the end of the week. Hope you guys are having a great day. As always, we appreciate your support and checking these videos out. You're the best. Hope you all have a great week. See you in the next one.